Welcome to this video which looks at Land Guardian and SolarWinds Orion NPM integration. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netport. I'm now logged on to my SolarWinds Orion NPM application. On my network I've also got a Netport Land Guardian and I've downloaded the Land Guardian integration pack for SolarWinds Orion from our website netport.com. So let's take a look at a couple of ways you can use the integration pack. Well, the first one here, we can use it to get further details when we're investigating an event. Here we have uh, an event lab where we have a very busy switch port, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 9 off one of our switches. It hit a utilization of 100%, and we have a threshold on that in 75, so we've got a problem, so let's investigate it. So we click on the event, and this brings us to the interface details page. Lots of other information here, which was collected using SNMP. But this element here at the top, switch interface drill down. This is part of the Langardian integration pack. Now it can resolve what IP addresses are connected to this switch port. So here we can see there's actually a single IP and over the last hour it's generated 657 megabytes data. Let's click on the total. And then we can see that that has that client connected to the finance server. Some data was sent received. Let's drill down further. It's Windows network file activity. Click on the total. And that resolves it into what files were copied up and down. So you can see the client, the server, created so there's some files copied up onto the server, which looked like a bunch of MP3 files. So we're getting a story of what's happened here. We have an alert, we've got a busy switchboard, we know now that it's a single client connected to it, and we can see how much traffic and also some detail in the case of file shares, what files are copied up and down. Now next thing we might be suspicious about this IP, what else do we know about this IP address on our network? So I'm going to create a new dashboard here, user network search. And within this dashboard, it's got the LangGuardian search page. This contains the four most common ways the LangGuardian is used. Bandwidth troubleshooting, network forensics, file activity, web activity. LangGuardian very much focuses on internal network acti activity, not just for monitoring your edge, but what's happening on your LAN. Very common as well that it's used for troubleshooting WAN problems. So in my case, I've got an IP, I want to know more, so I'm going to go for forensics. Let's pop the IP address in here and let's do a search. One of the things we can do is also look at a specific time period. So we have options for last hour, four hours or 24 hours, or you can select a custom one, just click the calendar out of the clock symbol and pick a time period. I'm gonna leave it on the last 24 hours. So what do we know about this IP? Well, this is its traffic profile, a lot of web traffic, some mind maps, some SMTP. Here we have some events that are triggered by the system, some spam, originating from it. It's modifying Cisco devices. Looks like it got peer-to-peer. -peer. It's got a Skype client installed and also Maureen it's got a conflict worm. So actually I'm going to scroll down further here because here's the user that's logged on to it. So Windy Fig from the sales department. So one of my actions right now is to contact that user just to let, let them know there's actually a major problem with our system. Not only is the copy and mp3 files onto my network but um, needs to be checked because Looks like Configure Worm is uh, associated with it as well, and maybe spam. Over on the right hand side, here we see the files again being copied. Um, here's the email subjects originating from that system, uh, which look very much like spam email to me. It's also connecting via the prox some proxy here, external proxy by the looks things. Some data have been downloaded there from um, Betfair, or it's actually they're on betfair.com. Some websites being accessed by this IP address as well. And, and now we know the user by this user, Wendy. Each of these elements allows you to drill down more. So here's youtube.com. We can actually drill down further on that. The reason I might focus on YouTube, it consumes a lot of bandwidth. So let's do further analysis here. And all of this, act, all of this analysis, all of this data is gathered without the need of, for installing any software on your, on your clients or on your servers. It's all done through traffic analysis. We do deep packet inspection of traffic. So here we can see the this system connected to YouTube, and here's the URI. Now in the case of YouTube, the Langarning can resolve to the actual video name itself. So we have here the user watched some video called the Singing Ringing Tree. So you can go from a, you know what site somebody's accessing to the actual pages, or in the case of YouTube, what videos are being watched. Let's go back to my homepage. Another way you can use the integration pack is to get some additional reports onto your SolarWinds views. So my network view here, I also have included the top network users because I want to keep an eye on who are the top most active users on my network. 
So we've got uh, Danny here from customer support, generated eight gigabytes of data over the last um, hour. And we have the option to drill down and get further information here. So we can see here, um, mostly web traffic, some file share, Microsoft directory services, some proxy traffic, and a range of other services. So we can keep drilling down and get more information. So the refresh there reloads that element up. Or we can create a very specific view. So I've internet a web activity view here. So if what I've done is gathered together all my um, internet type reports from LangGuardian. So websites access, what are the email subjects, here it all is here. I wanted the top downloads through my proxy server. I've got the client, the uh, proxy server, how much data. So we've lots of detail here around how my internet connection is being used. So there are some of the common ways you can use the LangGuardian integration pack with SolarWinds or Rhine NPM. To find out more about the LangGuardian, please visit our website, www.netfort.com, where you can download a free trial of the software on our homepage, you'll see a link there as well to learn more about our integration with SolarWinds Orion. Thank you.